Welcome to an Arduino tutorial from Robojack. In this video, we are going to see how we can use this VL53L0X, the pink module with six pins, to measure the distance like this. You can get the code for this project by clicking on the link in the description, which will take you to robojacks.com slash learn slash Arduino. So let's get started with this. This is the module, usually it's shipped with this um, uh, six pin header that you need to solder and the module is very tiny. We have VCC, we have ground, that's clock and then that's data output and this is IO and then X shunt. X shunt. So there's a protective uh, sticker here. When you use it, you remove it so it can measure accurately. And the width of this module is 12 millimeter. The length from these points is 15.3 millimeter. And the total length is 23.7 millimeter. If you want to know the weight, it's around 1 gram, 0 0.7 gram with a pen header, 1 gram. So I have soldered the pen such that the wire should be on this side and the sensor is here. So the sensor has actually transmitter and receiver. So this has, uh, the laser will go, will hit an object and reflect back. The wavelength for this laser is 940 nanometer and will hit from one of this we can see there are two small dots one is large one is small so from this one from this one will emit the laser and it will hit the object and it will come back and the other one it will receive and do the calculation for us the sensor can work with a 2.6 to 3.5 volts independently but uh, when it's used in this module we have a voltage regulator here that uh, can work with 5 volts so you can connect it to 5 volts and it will internally regulate and so you don't have to worry about that. Now let's have a look at the data sheet. So VL530X, time of flight, that this is really smallest. Because the wavelength of the laser is 940 nanometer. And then this, the size is 4.4 by 2.4 by 1 millimeter. This module, that's the size for this one. and it can measure up to 200 so that's very important to keep in mind other than that is the operating voltage 2.6 to 3.5 millimeter and the operating temperature is from minus 20 to 70 degrees celsius keep that also in mind and i to c communication or i square c communication uh, frequency is 400 kilohertz that's very fast so this is the block diagram and these are the pen out of the device and here is the explanation of connected it so this is this can be active low and here is the suggestion must always be driven to avoid leakage so it means this should not leave it this pen should not be left unconnected so you must connect it so pull up is needed so that's why I put pull up resistor and this can be left unconnected, GPIO1. I suggest 10 kilo ohm, but internal resistor of Arduino is also good. The rest is not of our concern because uh, these are for people who are designing actual device with this. The wiring, the VCC and grounds are connected. These two are connected to five volts and the ground in here and then we have SDA and uh, an SCL and SDA the SCL is a clock SDA is the data, data data I'm using an Arduino that has SDA and SCL these two pen if your Arduino doesn't have this SDA and SCL so SDA is connected to A4 and SCL is connected to A5 just connected and then this 
GPIO will be not used, so just leave it like that. Then the then the X shut the X shut is connected to pin twelve here. The pin configuration has been explained. The wire is for I squared C or I two C communication. This is internal uh Arduino header file, you don't need to do anything about it. This is from uh, I have provided this uh, Adafruit library. You just download this. The link will be provided in within the code that I provide on our my website robojacks.com. So you must have this. After including everything, then we you can run this. This line gets that header file name that you see here that is the main object and we are creating object called sensor. I can put it RoboJax whatever you wish. So in this case it's just a sensor and then uh, then this 12 uh, input pull up is needed for pin 12 that X shut is connected and then we set it to high the pin 12 and then we 9600 baud is for this serial monitor. This must match otherwise you get error or you cannot read the text and then wire.begin this is initializing the i squared c or i2c communication and then here we are initializing sensor.ini this is a function inside this object we have created here and then we set a timeout for 500 milliseconds 100 milliseconds if it does not see or does not uh, find measurement in 500 milliseconds it will have timeout you will see it that it will display timeout so if your application uh, has in a situation that from time to time there will be out of range or there is no measurement increase this so it can uh, not time out quickly because when it's time out you have to restart again or you have to send a command to restart it by sending that pin to low and then we set the mode continuous so this goes continuous and then we set sensor read read range continuous millimeter this will return it in the value in millimeter and then the value will be stored here now we have it as an integer type and here we we go to the we print this text we print this that distance we have and then at the end we print millimeter and then here we said if timeout occurs then we say timeout so that timeout that we set here and then the loop continues like that without any wait so if you want to delay it you can also put a delay here and uh, 100 millisecond or 200 millisecond something like that now as you can see the scroll is a little slower getting closer Let me demonstrate now. Uh, this has a measurement here, and uh, the surface of this is the reference point. So I'm putting it close to the zero, and then let me put this at 100 millimeter. As you can see, it reads 102, 209 fluctuates. So one way to fix this would be if you need very exact value to mm, um, get the average. Let's say 10 or 20 measurement, and then get the average, or maybe 50 measurement and get the average. Let me go to the 5. This is 50 millimeter. So 52 to 55. That's very close, maybe 3 millimeter uh, deviation from the value. Now I'm going to 19 millimeter, centimeter 190. And then going to 140. So it goes 140 and 45, 110, 110, yes. That's 112. Thank you for watching. This was an introduction on how to use this VL53L0X with six pin on this module. As you can see, this is offered in different variety of types, but this number of pin is important in this shape because uh, people are offering it in different ways. Uh, I'm going to create more videos related to this to display it in 7 segment display and also video to display that LCD and OLED 
So make sure to subscribe so you can get updates of those.